good morning welcome to urban school my name is satendra and in this video i am going to explain you how to handle the excel sheet in matlab so let's just start i have made a excel sheet here in the first column there are the numericals 1 2 3 4 5 and in the corresponding in the next column b the elements are the square of the elements of a and let's save it make sure that you are saving it in the same folder where you installed the matlab so that it can fetch otherwise you give you have to give the address proper so i'm going to save it as i have already saved it so it will ask me to uh, replace it i have replaced it now come back to matlab here here it is so let's say my variable is data data is equals to or uh, i need to read excel sheet then give the path so here the path is simply my file so that is saved as the my work dot xls it's very important to give the proper extension so here it is now you can clearly see the excel sheet now is in the form of array and this array can be manipulated very easily in matlab with the help of the matlab tools or commands so let's try one by one i want uh, i will store the first co column of uh, my data in some variable and the second column of the data in some other variable then i will plot this data y data versus a data so let's do it let's say first column is first c is equals to data compound so it will give me the first column now let's say second column it will give me the second column now i want to plot my second column in the versus of first column it should give me a curve a parabolic curve y square is equals to 4x here it is you can see a very nice curve it is following the parabolic equation which is y square is equals to 4ax it is not starting from 0 because i have given the value from the 1 here okay. so if you give the value from the 0 then it will give you perfect parabola following the equation y square is equals to 4ax so in this way you can fetch your element from the excel sheet in some variables in the matlab and once you have the variables in the variables then you can manipulate them and plot them and do your task so that's all for this video see you in the next podcast don't forget to post your comments we need the feedback to improve us thanks a lot